So one more thing I wanted to go through with you before starting on the tutorials is basically the rendering settings. So when you first create the model, it's just here, it exists uh, in this space, but it doesn't necessarily uh, tell Blender anything about the image that you'd like. So for instance, in 3D space, right? So you could want to film it like that, right? You could want to film it like that. And that's basically why we have the objects here. That's the camera and that's the light. So the camera decides from which angle you want to see the object. You can see the view that you have now in the camera if you click here. So see, now we are seeing the cube like that and we could change the way we see it. Most important settings, I'd say, are here. So that's the render engine. Eevee is faster, Cycles is more precise, I'd say. Uh, so if you have here GPU compute, better to select it. Um, then viewport, mark samples. Keep it as low as possible, not to overload your laptop or computer. And then here, for starters, you could do 32 and then something else. That's the render samples, that's the viewport samples. Basically, the higher the number is, the higher the quality of your image. Uh, and then what else? Performance. Just click here. It will be better for your device as well. And then in the color management, click filmic and then click high contrast. And then just play with it, change it as you want, and you'll see the difference. That's pretty much it. Then um, here we have the output. If you'd like an image for Instagram, for instance, just change this one to 1080 so that it's square, or this one to 1350 if you want this format. Well, I mean, I could as well tell you the one for reels. It would be 1920, I think, I hope, right? It looks more or less how it is. And then here you'd have the image format. So you could select PNG or JPEG or something else. Um, yep. That's pretty much how it is. And then once you have everything set up, just press render image and it will render your image. Well, we just have the cube, so it's nothing special for now. Um, so it will take some time to render it. Uh, again, the lower the number of samples, the faster it will be. So he, keep that in mind. Also, if you don't have a fancy laptop or computer, you could try rendering with Eevee to make it faster. Um, here are the samples again. Also for Eevee, you could try selecting these and high quality normals for performance. Uh, ba -ba -ba -bum. Yeah. That's pretty much everything you need. Maybe this one as well. 